Hi. Starting this Sunday, we go into the season of Advent, which is the beginning of the new church year. A lot of my earliest formation in the church was strongly in the kind of low church culture, where there's not a whole lot of robes or liturgy, but there's an awful lot of scripture and preaching. So we didn't really celebrate a lot of the elements of the church year, although we did look at Advent and Lent. Now, the first thing we need to note is that the season of Advent is not the Christmas season. Now, I realize that much of the secular world celebrates Christmas or their form of Christmas throughout the entire month of December, but Advent and Christmas are two different but related seasons. Christmas is a season where we celebrate that in Jesus, God came to be among us and one with us in this world of space and time. It's a season that lasts 12 days from December 25th, and it ends on January 5th, just before the 6th, which is Epiphany. Now, Advent is the season where we commemorate the waiting and groaning season for the birth of Christ that creation went through, and it begins the fourth Sunday before Christmas Day, and so that means it can be as long as 28 days, and it can be as short as 22 days. What are the major themes of Advent? Well, Advent is often marked in the life of the church by uh, hymns and liturgy that somehow commemorate or remember that period of waiting. You know, hymns like, O Come, O Come, Emmanuel, or Lo, How a Rose, Air Blooming, or O Come, La Long Expected Jesus are kind of major songs for that season. Now, we are no longer waiting for Jesus to actually be born, but the church has traditionally seen a parallel with us in this day where we're waiting not for Jesus to be born, but to return. And as such, there is actually a strong eschatological aspect to Advent, even though you don't always hear about it in churches. It's also important to take some time and note what Advent is not. As I already said, Advent is not Christmas. It's a period of preparation for Christmas. And so while it is tempting for Christians uh, to say, along with the rest of the culture, that December is the Christmas season, it's really important that we do remember that Advent is a period of time where we're preparing, we're waiting, we're yearning for the coming of Christ. It's also important to note that Advent is not Easter, and it's certainly not Good Friday. Now, it may seem weird for me to say that out loud, because on the one hand, it's really obvious that Advent is not the same thing as Good Friday. Now, on the other hand, there's a lot of people, you know, Christians and well-meaning church leaders, who will talk about Advent in such a way that it makes it seem like the only real reason why we care about Christmas is really because of Good Friday. That we only rejoice that God has come to be with us because at some point he's going to lay his life down for us. And I've already done a video on that topic, so click the card up in the corner if you want to see that one. Now we come to one of the major issues, at least for my clergy colleagues in the season of Advent, and that is, is it okay? to sing Christmas songs during the season of Advent. Now, first of all, just to be totally clear, if what you mean by Christmas songs are songs like about Santa Claus or kind of generic winter songs like Jingle Bells or Winter Wonderland, they, they really don't belong in the context of a worship service in the first place. However, there are also lots of people, and especially clergy, who will tell you that it is absolutely not appropriate to sing Christmas songs in Advent because it's not Christmas yet. Christmas comes later. And what that sometimes does is it rubs people in the church the wrong way because they have been trained, especially by their culture, to sing Christmas songs throughout all of December. Now, there's a huge value of not allowing the secular world and culture to dictate the agenda and the calendar of the church. As people are decorating for Christmas earlier and earlier, it seems, and as you can't get away from songs like Let It Snow, Let It Snow, Let It Snow when you shop as early as November, uh, there's a certain value to remembering the patience and the waiting that go along with the season of Advent. Preventing and rejecting Christmas creep can actually come off as a radical act. That being said, the coming of Christ is really one of the most defining elements of our faith. From one point of view, it is actually the central conviction of all of Christian faith. And so it makes sense to be able to sing Christmas songs not only during Advent, but actually throughout the whole year. One of the things I find so interesting about this rejection of Christmas songs during Advent by many people is that there are many churches who will sing uh, songs that talk about the resurrection and the crucifixion throughout the whole year, partially because it's such an important theme to our faith, and how can you possibly avoid it? Well, if that's the case, then why don't we sing Christmas songs throughout the whole year? It's an equally important aspect to our faith, and I think that perhaps this question may cause us to re question how important we think Christmas is, whether we really believe the coming of God among us is as central as it really is. Well, that's all I have for this week. If you have any questions or topics you'd like me to take up, please send me an email at pastorstevic at gmail.com. If you like these videos or you find them engaging in some way, please consider liking and sharing them on the various social media platforms. And if you want to subscribe to the YouTube channel where these videos are posted, uh, please do so at youtube.com forward slash one. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.